Hey, everybody, welcome back. Let's take a minute right now to say hi to our good friend, John Baptiste. John, you there? Hey, I'm over here. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing well. Good to see you. How was your Easter? Uh, Easter was beautiful. I We sat in my pajamas. We went to church in my pajamas, and uh, <laughs> Evie and I had a cup of coffee and the dog, <laughs> and we went to Mass right there looking at the computer screen. That's right. That's the only thing we were missing. Yes, indeed. I'm gonna. I am going to uh, really get used to going to church in my pajamas with a cup of coffee. Man, it's very comfortable. <laughs> you usually have to wait till afterwards to get the coffee and the donuts. I feel that. I, I was. I was doing the same thing. Uh, I, I, I'm just thankful for technology that we can have all of these people come together through Zoom. <laughs> we had a big dinner on Zoom, and everybody was in that little square. It was amazing. Oh, that's nice. How's your mom and dad? Great. They they they're doing good. It's kind of it's kind of hard being inside. You know, everybody is getting stir crazy. They just want to get out and do something. Well, uh, could you could you uh, would you mind playing a little something to calm us down? Oh yeah, yeah. I got I got something up my sleeve. Let's see. Uh, calm for the rainy day. <laughs> Thank you, Maestro. Yeah. John Baptiste, everybody. Stay safe. Yes, indeed. See you. Stay safe. Folks, my guest tonight is a smooth talking car salesman. You also might know him from Dazed and Confused, True Detective, and his Oscar winning role in Dallas Buyers Club. Please welcome back to A Late Show, Matthew McConaughey. There's a man. How are you, Matthew? We're down here in Austin. Got mom here, three kids, staying on the property, cooking That's a lot, nice. cleaning a lot, doing the deal. Thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. This must be, yeah, this is the strangest kind of interviewing I've ever done. I'm getting more used to it, though. All the meetings for the past three weeks, doing them like this. I mean, it's not as awkward as I thought it would be. No, no. Thank <laughs> you for unmuting for this meeting, by the way. That would make this a lot easier. Now, you've been releasing a lot of PSAs on social media about yeah. coronavirus. How'd that start? Well, three weeks ago, you know, uh, we, I was in shock like everybody else. So it was like, what is the message that, that needs to be out there? And I thought it was like, first message needed to be, hey, be cool, everybody. We're going to get through this. A little reassurance in, the, in this time of when we need to stabilize and wonder what the heck is going on. Um, then a couple weeks ago, it seemed like the obvious message that, we needed to spread and share was stay home. Um, so put put one out about stay at home, worked with a guy, local friend of mine, Roy Spence. We wrote one and put it out about stay at home. And now we've got a new one, a new uh, factoid that I think everyone needs to follow up on about uh, um, wearing mask and covering your, your face if you have to leave. I think, I think we've got a copy. You sent this on, didn't you? What is, is this the new one? This Jim, is the one that came out this? today? Jim, let's roll this if we have it. Yeah, I met this guy in my backyard, man. Showed up and he said, you need to put me on the PSA. <laughs> Share myself, my wisdom with the world, he said. I'm bounty hunter Bobby Bandito, but you can call me Bobby B. I see it's high time we catch this killer because we got more living to do. Here's how. So you lay down your favorite bandana, unfold it like so. Get your trusty coffee filter that you had on the go. Get your two rubber bands. Roll one down one end like this. Roll the other one down this end like that. Fold them over like so. Grab a hold and you're good to go. Now remember, stay at home. But if you gotta go, strap it on like so. Ah. I'm challenging all you triple B's out there. It's time for us to band together and see who can make the most badass bandito bandana so we can beat the Corona V. Bobby B style. So tell me about this Bobby Bandito guy. He seems like a shady character. Bobby B, you gotta be a bandit to beat a bandit. He gotta be a little shady to beat this shady guy, Corona V we're after. <laughs> yeah, I found him. I was off hiking on our property and came across this guy nailing a 
a most wanted sign under my oak tree. I said, what you doing on my property? He turned around and said, I'm Bobby B. He never seen me coming. And he told me what he was up to, man. So he's, he's a bounty hunter and he's out to catch the Corona V, reminding everybody, put a mask on if you got to leave home. So can you teach me how to do it? I got some of the oh, ingredients yeah. right here. What do I need to do? All right, first you need your, uh, your, your bandana. Hopefully it's badass. I got one. Well, I don't know about I'm badass. That, baby. What, do got, what do I got here? Oh, yeah, that's badass. Is that good enough? Unfold that, baby. Yeah, now I'm put it anchor. over into a... There you go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, mm-hmm. just go corner to corner and make it a big triangle. All right, there you go. Now, fold one end over the, 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 the tip end up there. a little bit. Uh, no, like, not, not. Like that? Gonna, yeah, something like that. You got a coffee filter around? Anything? Vacuum bag? I do. I got, Look at I got that. these. Look at that. Slide oh. one of those. Slide one of those in there. Splatten now, why, it out. Why am I putting a coffee filter in my bandana? Well, here you go. Just the cotton from the bandana enough is not really enough to keep the, uh, the, the, the COVID and Corona V out or keep it in in case you have it when you're wearing it. So what this on. does, you want to measure these with the light. There's not, not much light comes through. Whatever it is you're putting in the bandana, it's good because it'll, it'll keep more of the germs out. Okay. And, and then and so put it slide it in the there. fold. Okay. Put it under the fold a little bit. All right. I got, you got two rubber bands? Uh, I got uh, two hair ties hair for my wife Perfect. and my daughter. Wife and daughter. Put your wife on the left side right here. Roll right. it down. Roll it down. Yeah. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. My daughter over here. Right there over. You go. Daughter on the right side. Right. Roll it down. Roll it down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Keep rolling. You got it down. Now, yeah. flip those ends to the inside, meaning where you're holding. Got, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah. You got, it, it. got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Oh, I and see. Now you're, you're, you're good to go, so you str- wrap it on like so. Oh, geez. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I know, you got to get it over the ear. I got it. <laughs> get it over the other ear. Okay. Yeah. Stevie B style. There you go. Stevie C I style. I got a bad ear. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get it over, one... over the other ear. I only got one ear that works. Well. Look at this one right here. Yeah. This one just flips over. A little flimsy. Uh-huh. If you get it tucked over that, bingo. Get Thank tucked you. over the both ears. All you're right, set. good. You go I'm out. all set. There. If you have two ears, it'll work. I'll, I'll just have to staple gun it to my head. Or walk around like this with one hand pinned up to the side of your head. Now, uh, last Thursday, is this? You and your wife, Camilla, donated 80,000 masks to frontline workers in Austin and New Orleans. Um, can we get masks now? There's some that are gettable. Camilla went on, my wife went online and, and did research for about 72 hours straight and found um, a place, a, a lady down in, in, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana with Be Strong who had a lot of masks, different ones uh, for different purposes. So she went down and, and, and purchased 80,000, um, worked some funds up around here locally, then came to me and we delivered them to police on the front line, we deliver them to firefighters on the front line and send them to some hospitals down around New Orleans, Louisiana for some medical people that need them and don't have them. Are you surprised at all the number of organizations that have huge stockpiles of masks that they're, they're discovering? Because I've been so surprised the number of people who have masks out there. I didn't realize that stockpiling masks was a thing to do. Well, I don't know if they were stockpiling or just forgot they had them. You know, I mean, who'd ever, I don't think there was a time we thought we were going to need these masks. That's why um, I don't I, know. Just like the gloves. Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe they were in the, yeah, in the back stock room where nobody was using them. I'm not sure. I don't think anyone premeditated this coming, but yeah, hopefully whoever's got them, let's get them out, share them. There's plenty of places to share them. Matthew, we have to take a little bit of a break. Please stick around. And folks, you don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more Mr. Matthew McConaughey. Mm-hmm. 